Hello everybody, Stuart here from Stubu Gaming, playing Citadel Forge with Fire again, and uh, I'm going to go and defeat the two direwolves that I couldn't find in my last video. Now I know there are going to be two in this cave, so that's going to make it quite nice and easy for me. Once I've done that, I am going to go and do a large quantity of um, harvesting, so uh, you guys again don't have to worry about getting bored watching that. Why did that not hit? That's better. That's one. And that's why that exclamation mark and funny noise occurred. So the one down here will also give me... One, provided I can get him before he runs away, of course. I'm hoping at some stage the guy who was building down here... Where's the wolf down? Oh, there it is. I was going to say. There we go. So, that's both the wolves done. And... Um, I'm just going to go and do some harvesting, so I'll see you again shortly. Okay, so I've done a lot of harvesting, and by a lot of harvesting, I mean an absolute load. So uh, let's go and turn in this quest, and then we can carry on and finish off at least this layer of the build. Um, I don't want to spend too long doing it, because um, I did level up, and I've got some level ups to add but uh, I will do that once we've turned this quest in because that'll be more experience so um, yeah I've managed to collect over 2,000 wood and over 1,400 stone um, so I'm going to start stockpiling stone in the background because when I come to doing the uh, stone conversion um, I want to have as much available as I can possibly get so we can just go ahead and change everything um, now, I know that's going to need a lot more than the 1,400 I've cu currently got. Um, in fact, it's a direct one-for-one -one, um, resource requirement. So, if the floor required 75 wood, it will require 75 stone. Um, so, I've used a good few thousand wood to do the building as it is at the moment. Um, so, as we add more to it, obviously the stone will require more. So it's a wonderful combination of spells. I do like that. Now I need to remember he's on top of the hill, so um, if there's a, an up route and a down route, I need to go the up route. I think he's basically at the top of that hill ahead. So Got my two dire wolves. We'll see what we get in addition to the ingots. And I think it was um, ingots, rune crystals, and I can't remember what the last bit was. But um, we'll find out in a minute. Precious stones, sorry, not rune crystals. There we go. He's got nothing else for us today. So, because they're daily quests, you get one per day. Now, although I got that actually yesterday, as far as uh, time of recording, um, it's still classed as today's quest, because I turned it in today. Right. So, let's head back. I'm going to collect rune crystals on the way past all of these large nodes. I'm not going to stop running, I'm just going to uh, attach to them as soon as I possibly can and just keep running past. Oh, 
that way, get as much as possible without needing to constantly stop. be the orc camp which it is so I want to avoid that if I possibly can mainly because um, I've already uh, taken that camp out now the chest is probably but the chest is available so I'm going to run in and try and I knew that was going to happen. I did kind of know that was going to happen. Um, as I respawn at my base. Out the back door and over the edge. So if the cross is red, it means your items are still there. If it's white, it means they have disappeared. So if you're rushing towards your cross and it's white, you're not going to find anything there apart from the thing that killed you. So it might be worth uh, wondering whether that's worthwhile. worth it for me because my hat was in there. It is broken, but it is in there. Right, let's see if I can actually craft. No, I can't. It requires a tailoring bench. Room crystals and cloth. Well, I've got a load of cloth, so I will look to do that. Get a proper wizard's hat. I don't have a tailoring bench yet, of course, so I can't do it now. Okay, let's go and put all this in and start grabbing some of that wood. And uh, let's build our second story of our crafting area. I can't move that. I'll drop it because I don't really need it, or I won't need it, should I say. I always do that, because there's only one of them. And I think they've gone onto the roof outside again, which is very interesting and annoying. And I forgot to grab the wood. Two thousand nine hundred wood. Hopefully last us a while. Don't block myself in. Um, oh, I'm not too worried about that one being at the base. Mainly because... Um, I will be putting 
items around the base like that, walls around the base to make it look a bit better. Right. Let's block that in as well. Now we can knock through from inside. Let's grab some more wood. I need to put the ceilings on. I can now knock through from here. Let's knock through a rid initially at least, because then I can decide whether I want to close it back off with a door like this, which I possibly will do, because I think that could look quite nice. Then I can put um, a door through there into the second story of the dorm area as well. get some metal ingots because I do think I want doors and I've got more than enough metal ingots to do it so if I put the walls up again then put a doorway there then I will remove this walkway and put a doorway here put a wall there put a doorway there and put a doorway there How's that? Because now I can... Do I want doorways? I'm not sure I want doorways. In fact, I don't want doorways. What I want is I want hatch frames. That's better. Yeah, that's better. Right, so... of those. And then let's move a couple of hundred of those. Let's move my forges into this area.
Okay, I thought it was wood. It's rune crystals. That's interesting. So let's move my wood out and pick up my rune crystals. So we've now got three forges to start with. I can always get more later. Actually, I think the other two don't need stone, they need wood. So if I move, because I'm going to look to do the... Um, tailoring and other bench. Okay. Right, so... I can come in here and destroy these two. And if I look to put the... Wow. Oh, I have more than six rune crystals. Evidently not. Evidently it lied to me. I'm just going to put them in here, haven't I? It's always a good idea to have a double skin with doors as well, simply because if anyone breaks in, especially in PvP, if anyone breaks in, they can't get into the rest of your building. Um, I have had it before, even on PvE, where somebody's broken in, then basically will not leave. So you end up locking them in your base. They can't do anything, but it's still annoying. Um, right, tailoring. I do one tailoring bench initially, and one crafting bench. Right, because that should allow me now to... What do I need? I need wood, rune crystals and precious stones. Okay, and what about the hat? I need my cloth. Precious stones as well, don't I? Let's move a load of that wood back, say a couple of hundred of it. And then I can get my precious stones. And I should be able to get my second staff and my hat. Okay, so that one's started. Go next door. And that one's started. Don't know which one will finish first. Right, let's have a look at levelling up, shall we? So, we've got four points. I can learn my second level ring and... Amulet. I can learn a deconstructor, although they are extremely expensive. A repair bench, again, is extremely expensive. Um, deconstructors break things down, whereas repair benches, I don't think I need them yet because the items that I've got aren't really of a sufficiently high level that I worry about them breaking. Um, I do have those gauntlets that I've got that are um, epic ones. However, in reality, I'm going to have some higher damage ones soon anyway. So the deconstructor would be more useful to get rid of things like that once they've damaged. Because I think you can still deconstruct them when they're broken. Um, but at this stage... 
I'm going to get an animal heads pack because it's only one point. I'm going to get my rabbit stew because it's only one point. Now, we've got saddles, brooms and um, flying essences. Which, at this stage, I'm not going to worry too much about. Brooms take a lot of mana to fly, so do the flying potions. But saddles obviously require a tame, which I don't have. Um, boar sausage. Sounds nice. I'm going to learn that as well. And I'm going to learn crowberry wine. Right, so that's my hat, which is a nice uncommon. There is my new staff. Which is a nice uncommon. So I can now equip my second staff. And I can equip my hat. So I'm a proper Professor McGonagall. I just need... Uh, actually, I can make some boots. I need some shoes. Give me some shoes. There we go. Right. Um, and what else? What else do I need? I can do some leggings, actually. And this is where the second tailoring bench would be useful. What? I don't know how to make leggings? How does that work? And some nice and common foot wraps as well. Now, does that mean that there are no leg wraps in the... There are none. There are no leg wraps in the... F in the um, robes, boots, hood, robe, boot. They literally have no leggings. Interesting. Very interesting. Right, um, let's go back to the workbench and see what's required for my second set of gloves. Although I have a feeling they may be from the forge, which it looks like they are. Weapons... No, they're not. So where can you make those? Tailoring bench? Really? A tailoring bench to make some gloves? Some weapon gloves? That's unexpected. Right, so I need bones, rune crystals and fur pelts. Well, I've got the fur pelts and the bones. So it is literally just rune crystals that are left. Um... Squealing boar outside, which is very nice. So let's go and just have a quick look in our fire pit just to see what we require to make any of those lovely things we've just learned. So, boar sausage, we need mushrooms, salted boar, and hide. Okay, that's easy enough. For rabbit stew, salted hare, steamed vegetables. Okay, so steamed vegetables, mushrooms, salt and butter. Really? That's steamed vegetables, salt and butter and mushrooms. Wow. Um, fried egg, egg and butter. Okay, salted pol poultry, poultry and salt. Okay, um, butter, milk and salt. Right, we, we do actually have quite a lot of that stuff already. Um, so if I take out all of my cooking ingredients. I've only got one butter, strangely enough. Although I do have a lot of salted elk. I've got one salted boar. Elk. I've got a lot of boar meat though. Um... I don't think there's anything else that I need. Oh, mushrooms. Crowberries. Did not take it. Your inventory is full. Okay. Um, right, so I can craft 
this is the other problem when you've only got one fire pit as well. I will make a, a kitchen area. Probably on the ground floor of the dorm room. Right, so steamed vegetables, salted boar. That's the salt. So I can go and get salt because it's it's all along the coast basically. Um, you just mine it from the coastal areas. Right, so we've got steamed vegetables. We've got basically one left. So what? It's hide that we required. We need two salted boar and hide. So let's get another salted boar. Let's grab some hide and let's make a sausage. Take two just, oh, it wouldn't let me take two, okay. Oh, it won't let me take that either. Right, let's get rid of some of this other stuff. Don't need those. I do need those. Don't need the fresh berry salad. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. Yeah, I'm, I really need to go on a, a rune crystal hunt now, don't I? <laughs> right. So we pick that back up, interact, and boar sausage, what? Ugh, got the wrong thing. Needed hide, not pelt. Yay! Right, everything else can go back in here now. Done. Got my first sausage look. Boar sausage. So 70 health, 20 mana, satisfied buff, plus 1 health, plus 1 mana regeneration, and plus 20 movement speed for 90 seconds. Or it increases loyalty time by 100 minutes, which is the best I've had so far, apart from bread. I think bread does 140 minutes. Right, we've got all of these broken things in there, which are really pointless in keeping. Very pointless in keeping, unfortunately. Right. So. My gloves should have finished. Did I pick my gloves up before? Oh, I couldn't make them, could I? Because I needed some uh, rune crystals, if I remember rightly. Yes, I needed rune crystals. Okay. Right. So. I think I'm going to leave it there for this video, guys. Um, I'm obviously going to go and get a load of rune crystals and everything else. But um, I hope you have uh, found that video enjoyable. If you have, please make sure you click the like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And make sure you do click all notifications when you click on that bell icon, which I hope you will do. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, I am in the process of trying to do a spells... Um, video however I just don't have the essences I could use my other character on my, the other server but um, that's a much more advanced character and uh, I kind of want to do the journey together um, obviously if you guys want me to show you the other character then I will do but please let me know that down in the comments below 
Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you for my next video very soon. You all take care. Bye for now.